Hello, welcome to my student support system. In today's class, we will discuss about chicken gunya. This lecture is in English, and if you want to study in Hindi, just click on I button, and you will get link of Hindi lecture. Or you can directly visit to channel my student support system. What is chicken gunya? Chicken gunya is a dengue-like disease. Which results in intense joint pain and maculopapular rashes. Causative agent: Chikungunya is caused by chikungunya virus. It is an RNA virus that belongs to alpha virus genus of family Toga virus. How it spreads? The virus is transmitted by mosquito bite. and that mosquito is aedes mosquito the mosquito can pick up the virus as it ingests the blood from infected person the virus then undergoes replication in the mosquito before it can be transmitted to a new host when the mosquito bites healthy person signs and symptoms of chikungunya Signs and symptoms includes arthralgia means joint pain primarily in the uh, wrist knee ankle and small joints of hands and legs lasting days to sometime even months in many patients the onset of arthritis is followed by maculopapular rashes they may appear after 1 to 10 days Usually these are non prurytic and affect mainly trunk and limbs buccal and palatal spots may appear the rashes resolves in 7 to 10 days and it is followed by fine disquamation of the skin epistaxis may appear cervical lymph adenopathy may be seen paresthesia and tenderness of the palm and sole may occur other symptoms include coffee colored vomiting fever patches chills anorexia and conjunctivitis diagnostic investigations serological tests such as enzyme linked immunosorbent assay elisa may confirm the presence of igm and igg anti chikungunya antibodies the virus may be directly detected in blood during first few days of infection as well uh, by the rt pcr test treatment there is no specific treatment for chikungunya and it is usually self limiting disease just supportive treatment is needed such as analgesics in case of pain antipyretics like paracetamol diclofenac chloroquine may also help and fluid supplementation may be given to manage infection relieve fever joint pain and swelling how we can prevent this disease like dengue and malaria we can prevent chikungunya also by health education regarding prevention and control of chikungunya it is very important step in prevention of chikungunya or any other disease which can spread through mosquito bite control of mosquito is very important issue insecticide treated mosquito nets are most universally useful measure for the prevention of chikungunya control of larva stage by elimination of mosquito breeding sites by for example by filling up and draining the water collection the use of larvae vorous fish especially gambusia is well known mosquito control measure general cleanliness is also helpful in eliminating the breeding places of aedes mosquito 
Isolation of the patient and preventing him from mosquito bite also help in preventing further transmission of chikungunya. Vector control also involves application of pesticide in the form of hose and mist using special equipments. The ultra low volume method of pesticide dispersion by air or by ground equipment has proved effectiveness in controlling the vector. Wear long sleeves clothing and long trousers when going out to protect ourselves from mosquito bite. Apply mosquito repellent creams to the exposed skin. Use mosquito screens and nets over the doors and windows. If no screens are available then close the windows and doors. At night, use anti-mosquito coil electric coil mosquito killer or any other mosquito repellents or mosquito killer to reduce the number of vectors. By these methods we can prevent chikungunya. Thank you students for watching this video. You can subscribe the channel for watching the latest updates. You can like Facebook page and for making your notes you can visit mynursingstudents.blogspot.com. You can follow me on Twitter. Instagram and join Facebook group Nursing Notes. Thank you. Have a nice day.